One more time for Daniel Trout. Uh, just to clarify, sex watch is not a porn. <laughs> Toss it out there. Uh, a little bit about myself, I just recently turned 30. God, yeah, I know, I'm really excited about that too. And uh, I read my horoscope and it said, Aquarius, you're constantly bombarded by demanding questions, the answers of which are unimportant, so don't answer them. I figured that was great advice until you realize what I do for a living. I work in a call center. <laughs> Hold your applause for the government. <laughs> Jeez, Mr. Johnson, why do you owe the federal government 12 grand? Unfortunately, the answer to that question is unimportant. Please hang up and try your call again. <laughs> you might get a Scorpio. I hear they're full of great answers this month. So yeah, as a government shill, you can understand that my life is not very exciting. But the highlight of my week is that Thursday is pizza day at work. <laughs> That's right, who capped excitement in my life at grade five? <laughs> Why am I getting excited about this? Like every lunch, lunch hour, like for every year should have got better, right? Like Thursday should be, I don't know, caviar race car sex day. <laughs> Why am I not bungee jumping off a bridge to a burger and a blowjob as anyone's guess? <laughs> but instead, I'm waiting in the lineup like some asshole asking the cook if the crust is gluten free. <laughs> My dating life's a disaster. I, know, I, was, I, was, uh, I was dating this girl a couple months back. She wanted to have an open relationship, which meant I got to share, I got to share her with all of her other lovers, namely marijuana, ecstasy, cocaine, whiskey, the silent killer. And as you can guess, with a relationship like that, things didn't work out. She broke up with me. She said she didn't want to have any dependencies. <laughs> So I was sleeping with this girl for a while. <laughs> I wasn't paying her, so don't worry. Uh, and uh, I discovered that she was a squirter. <laughs> and when I found this out, ladies and gentlemen, while I was going down on her. Does anyone know what that's like? In the back, all right. Well, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the sensation, it's like you're licking the business end of a garden hose that somebody suddenly turns on your face full blast. And I was just like... And I looked up at her, and classy guy that I am, I said, I hope that's not pissed. I don't understand why we didn't work out. That's an interesting postscript to that joke. I told it once uh, a couple weeks back, and this old 40-year-old woman came up to me. She said she was on vacation from Toronto, and she said, thank you, young man, for teaching me about squirting. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, Fifty Shades of Grey has nothing on me, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna toss that out there. Uh, despite my dating woes, I am fucking done with dating websites. I'm done with them, because that's about as effective as deer hunting with a rock. <laughs> Have you, ever, have you ever seen some of the profiles these women write, sir? Have you seen these? Where like, they give you like a laundry list of reasons why you should, me like you have to have to be bleh. You have to meet these conditions, there we go. You have to meet these conditions in order for you to message her. And I'm just like, I'm just trying to find somebody who will go out on a date with me whose vagina won't explode in my face. Okay? But she has, like you have to have a picture of your face, you can't, be, you can't have your shirt off, you have to be in front of a, you can't be in front of a car, you must not drink, you must not smoke, you must not do drugs, you must not have kids, you must want kids. It's like, lady, you're ransoming a date on the internet. At this point, you're already swirling down the drain of despair here. How would I cut out the middleman, I'll send you a dozen cats and a box of ice cream, we'll call it done. <laughs> And while I'm at it, you can send me a gym sock, because I'm fucking lonely. <laughs> Speaking of lonely, I bought a fleshlight. Oh! And for those of you who don't know this, it's essentially, it looks like a flashlight, you know, you know, yeah. And uh, it comes with different attachments. There's a vagina, an anus, a mouth, and a horizontal line. I don't know what that one is. Uh, and the big sell feature for me was that it's dishwasher friendly. <laughs> So my mom comes over for dinner, and she says, oh, I'll empty your dishwasher for you. She pulls it out, 
She's like, what's this? So I'm like, oh fuck, I gotta come up with a good answer. Uh, that's a novelty glass. My friends bought it for me. So she starts pouring a drink in it. And she goes to take a sip. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Put the lid on. I've seen someone eat an asshole before, but that's the first time I saw someone drink out of it. So, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, now that I've, I've thoroughly depressed myself, let's, let's shit on some celebrities and make myself feel better about myself. Uh, Snooki's pregnant, huh? You hear about this? Uh, Snooki is pregnant. Ladies and gentlemen, I knew the Antichrist would be born in my lifetime. The shocker for me was the likelihood that kid's gonna have fetal alcohol syndrome. The only thing that spawn of Satan's gonna have dominion over is the Special Olympics. <laughs> Come on, I'm sure he's a good runner. She'll hire him a personal trainer and fucking everything. She's not gonna change him, but you know. Um, so who's been following that Luca McNota story? Anybody? The body part guy, you follow that? You sick fuckers. Let's do this anyways. Uh, so when the story first came out, they didn't know who did it. I figured I was like a prime candidate to be the next victim. So as a safety precaution, I was going to have Return to Sender tattooed on all my body parts. <laughs> but then they found out who it was. But by that point, he'd already ran off to Paris, and they found his suitcase with a torso in a back alley in Montreal. I'm like, that's fucking terrible. It's terrible. Air Canada is always losing your luggage. <laughs> And I'll finish on this, ladies and gentlemen. I hate Justin Bieber, and you notice he's starting to do product placements now? The only thing I want to buy with that kid's face on it is a milk carton. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, ladies and gentlemen. I'm being really subtle here, but what I'm trying to say is the fact that Justin Bieber isn't dead makes it wish that Michael Jackson was still alive. Because I'm sure they'd make beautiful music together. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been great at the